Hey everyone, Cat Goblin and Martin here. So as a kid, I played quite a bit of the Mario games, such as Super Paper Mario, New Super Mario Bros. DS, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis. But one Mario game that I got back in 2010 was Super Mario Galaxy, one of the best 3D Mario games. Unfortunately, I lost my Super Mario Galaxy Wii game somewhere in the house, but good thing I have 3D All-Stars. And today, I'm going to be talking about every single enemy in the game. So let's dive straight into it. The only key things here are that most of these enemies only take away one hit point. Spin punching usually makes them drop star bits, jumping on top of them makes them usually drop coins. Some enemies can be stunned by star bits. Oh, and also I'll talk about Cosmic Mario and the mini bosses in another video. The first enemy to start off with would be none other than the Goomba, found in the following galaxies. They are pretty common enemies, charging straight at you upon sight. They're super easy to take out, and one spin punch knocks them over, so they can punt them. Some other Goombas are the Big Goomba, only found in Gateway Galaxy, and the Micro Ones, located in these galaxies. Both aren't very challenging. The giant slash grand Goomba is slow and big, making it an easier target. The micros will always drop coins, but you can get star bits out of them if you shoot a star bit and make them flip over for a kick. Next are the Octo Oombas, first appearing in Good Egg Galaxy, then later appearing in Battle Rock, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada, and Toy Time Galaxy. These cool guys skip around in a set path, but up close they'll try to smack you with their head. Slurples are weird and scary enemies, located in Good Egg, Honey Hive, Gusty Garden, and a Sea Slide Galaxy. They hop towards you, latch onto your head, slowing down your movement, and will drain the life out of you. Pretty dark. Luckily, a spin punch can easily be used on them. The piranha plants are found in these galaxies here. When you approach one of these carnivorous plants, they'll try to bite you, and they're super easy to take out. There's also this big purple piranha plant with a spiny stem. Instead of biting you, it will slam its head down, then you can just jump on top of it. Oda Rocks guard key entrances in Good Egg, Space Junk, Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor, and a Dreadnought Galaxy. They'll spit fireballs they have to dodge, or sometimes a coconut that you can toss back to defeat them. In some cases, you might have to throw a Koopa Shell, and the coconuts do not harm you. Ah yes, the Bullet Bill. Very iconic, found in these galaxies here. Bullet Bills infinitely get fired out of cannons. Getting too close will make them chase you with rage. The only way to physically defeat them would be to use a Koopa Shell, but you can lure them over to glass domes. Bonsai Bills only appear in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, and they're passive. The most cowardly enemy in the whole Mario franchise is the Flip Bug, flipping out in Honey Hive, Gusty Garden, and Gold Leaf Galaxy. When you approach them, they get so scared that they'll start to fly away. Eventually, they get tired and fall. Oddly enough, they'll only chase you if you're a bee Mario. Scared of Mario, but bees are its mortal enemy. Yeah. 
Mandy bugs, on the other hand, are tough, located in Honey Hive, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada, Honey Climb, and Gold Leaf Galaxy. Once in range, the bug will charge straight at you, and then will move back to its post. Standing on top of them for too long will make them shake you off. Some rotate around, and only ground pounds can be used to defeat them. Wiggler is found in Honey Hive, Beach Bowl, Bowser Jr.'s Armada, Gusty Garden, and Gold Leaf Galaxy. Wiggler is pretty chill walking around, but flip him over or jump on his head and he'll start to get red with fast rage. Grand Pounds can only be used on this fast caterpillar. Related to Octo Umba and Oda Rock is Octo Guy. Love this guy's name. Appearing in Honey Hive, Buoy Base, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada, Gold Leaf, and Deep Dark Galaxy. Octo Guy will run around trying to get a clear shot at you, and for attacks, he'll spit out deadly boulders. <laughs> Those weird enemies stuck in the ground in Flip Switch Galaxy are called Jump Beamers. Once in range, they'll spring up creating a large laser ring they have to avoid. They can't be defeated, but you can use their head to reach higher areas. These beamers also appear in Battle Rock and Dreadnought Galaxy. Buoy Base has the Jump Girder. Instead of shooting lasers, it spawns in top minis to distract you. Meet Spoing, a bumbling spider-like creature found in Space Junk and Ghostly Galaxy. The spiders are easy to defeat, because all they do is jump up and down on a spot. Magic Koopas are found in Space Junk, Bowser Jr.'s Armada, Sand Spiral, Matter Splatter, and a Deep Dark Galaxy. Magic Koopa will use his scepter to shoot fireballs, then he'll teleport to a different position. He's so powerful they can even deflect star bits, and will always drop a coin upon death. Now on to the Top Men tribe. The regular Top Men and Top Minis can be found in Battle Rock and Dreadnought Galaxy, with the Minis being summoned in at Buoy Base. Then the Spring Top Men is at Buoy Base and also Dreadnought. All three Top Men have the same attack which is bumping into you. It may not be deadly, but they could bump you towards ledges or electricity. The Minis can easily be dealt with. Regular Top Men have a spike on top, so you'll have to push them towards electricity. Then with the spring top men, you just use it to reach higher areas, and spring can also sometimes spawn in many ones too. The amps are super basic, found in these galaxies. They move around emitting electricity. Big ones don't have a face while the small ones do, and getting in their way is a shocking experience. Wait. 
The ball bombs will ignite once they spot you, and yeah, in a matter of seconds they will explode. Attacking them once will turn them into a non-active ball bomb, in which you can use them to break glass domes. They only appear as active in Battle Rock, Dreadnought, and Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. And hey, it's Monty. These crafty moles hide under these hatches. Occasionally, they'll pop out to chuck a wrench at you. You can simply use star bits or a ground pound from a distance to stun the mole and then punt him into the next galaxy. They only appear in Battle Rock, Gusty Garden, and Dreadnought Galaxy. Chain Chomps have been reduced to Rolling Hazards, appearing in Good Egg, Battle Rock, and Ghostly Galaxy. Avoiding them is easy, and you can even use the star power-up to destroy them for some star bits. Gusty Garden has the Gold Chomp that contains a star, and Dreadnought Galaxy has many ones that come out of these little chomp houses. Ghostly Galaxy is home to Boo, everyone's favorite ghost. Boo even appears in Big Mouth, Sand Spiral, and Deep Dark Galaxy. Just like in the 2D games, Boo gets very shy when you stare, and will only creep up on you when you look away. In Big Mouth, they swim around passively. You can only defeat them with light. Yeah, the moonlight also works. You can even use your spin punch to move them out of the way. Oh, and when you become Ghost Mario, the Boos will immediately fall in love with you and will really start to chase you. Boo's cousin Boom Boo makes an only appearance in Ghostly Galaxy. Boom Boo is not shy and as in the name, he goes boom once he catches you. The funny thing is you can grab this boo by the tongue and swing it at a Bowser statue or boulder geist. Make sure to hit something or let go as Boom Boo will still explode once grabbed. Ghostly Galaxy also has Jacko Goombas. Goombas wearing a jack-o'-lantern. They can't see and will occasionally fart out blue fire. You can spin punch the pumpkin off which makes them into a regular Goomba, or a ground pound for an instant defeat. <laughs> Beach Bowl, Ghostly, and Toy Time Galaxy contains bats. They just swoop down on you and aren't really challenging. The Ice Bat on the other hand, found in Freeze Flame Galaxy, is slightly difficult. If it hits you or if you try jumping on it, you'll get frozen into an ice cube, and the Fire Flower can only be used to defeat these ones. <laughs> Sprangler is another spider-like creature, hanging around in Ghostly, Bowser Jr.'s airship Armada, and Sea Slide Galaxy. It just hangs out on a strand of silk. Once you're near, it will come down and try to swing towards you, dealing damage. Nevertheless, it's simple to take out with just two hits.
Moving on to the tropical enemies, which you'll have to tread lightly once near. First, we have Clampy, only located in Beach Bowl Galaxy. It's a clam that guards a starship or a coin. Occasionally, it will open its mouth so you can snatch the item. You can even force it open by shooting a star bit. Staying too long in its tongue will make it shut, which knocks you back. Thankfully, it doesn't trap you. The urchins in this game look super angry, and for some reason they want you dead. Located in the following galaxies. Once you get near these guys, they show off all their spikes and will roll towards you. Freeze Flame and Deep Dark Galaxy have these land variants. Luckily, Koopa Shells or the Fire Flower can stop them in their tracks. Eels are usually passive in the Mario games. Gringle eels like to swim around, although the ones by the caves will snap at you, probably because they don't like trespassers. Koopa shells can be used on them, and the giant ones in the caves can drop 1-ups. Gringle eels appear in Beach Bowl, Drip Drop, Big Mouth, Sea Slide, and Deep Dark Galaxy. Bloopers are known to be very annoying in the 2D games, but here they swim around you, very slowly. They only appear in Boogie Base and Deep Dark Galaxy. Not really difficult, and you can use a Koopa Shell on them. Up next are the Jammy and Jellyfish, both found in Big Mouth and Deep Dark Galaxy. The jammy fish swim around a group. It's easy to avoid bumping into them, and as always, the Koopa shell does work on them. The big jellyfish swims up and down. It takes two shells to defeat, and will electrocute you if you collide into it. Trip Drop Galaxy has a bunch of these treasure chests that you can open with a shell, and some of the chests contain this pufferfish enemy. Once released, the fish will rapidly swim towards the surface, and then just dies. Pretty dark in a Mario game, an enemy that kills itself after being free. And I mean, we just saved its life from this chest! Just avoid being in its way and you should be good. Actually, scratch that, just don't open the chest at all. I almost forgot that Cheep Cheeps are in this game, only sighted in Deep Dark Galaxy, where they jump around on this small planet that has shallow water. They can easily be defeated, and there's also this one that swims around underwater. Ever since Super Mario World, the Koopas walk on two feet, and they wear shoes, but here in Mario Galaxy, they revert back to walking on all fours, which is kinda weird. And then you got Dry Bones here who has shoes on, and the passive Koopas look pretty angry as well. You only see them in Space Drunk, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada, Dusty Dune, Big Mouth, and Sea Sly Galaxy. After attacking, they retreat in their shell, and will come back out in a few seconds, just like in the other 2D games. You can then use their shell, but after defeating the Koopa, it just respawns again, so you won't feel bad for defeating it. The green ones walk slow, and the red-shelled Koopa, only found in Seaside Galaxy, walks a bit faster.
The crabbers are next. Orange crabbers will move towards you. Thankfully, they don't use that huge claw of theirs to pinch you. They just bump into you instead, and the blue ones will always run away. To defeat them, you just have to hit them in the front, which stuns them a bit, and then whack their rear. The blue crabbers can even drop 1-ups. You meet them in Dusty Dune, Big Mouth, Sea Slide, and Deep Dark Galaxy. The Cataquax from Mario Sunshine can be found in Beach Bowl and Gold Leaf Galaxy. When near, they chase you and will use their beak to fling you in the air which is pretty useful for reaching high areas. You can't really defeat them, I mean you could lure them to water but they'll just respawn. You can even flip them over too if you want to. In the air, you got Bullet Bills, and in the water, you have Torpedo Ted. Just like a Bullet Bill, Ted will chase you non-stop. You can use Koopa shells to defeat it, or lure it over to a breakable object. Torpedo Ted is pretty slow, and you encounter it in Buoy Base and Drip Drop Galaxy. Bonefin Galaxy has the Skeletal Fish Guard, a skeleton fish that guards Kingfin. When they notice you, they'll swim straight at you in a straight line, just like the wet bones from the 2D games. Easy to avoid, and you can use a Koopa shell on them. The next set of enemies are pretty dry. Well, they're not dry themselves, they're just found in dry places. Starring your boy, Dry Bones, in Dusty Dune Galaxy and Bowser's Dark Matter Plant and Galaxy Reactor. Dry Bones is my favorite character in the series. I mean, I use him all the time in Mario Kart. Anyways, Dry Bones gets excited when he spots you and will relentlessly chase you. Just like in every other game, he falls apart into pieces after a hit and will later reassemble himself. The only thing that can feed him is quicksand. So we have three types of pokies. The pokey heads in Gusty Garden and Dusty Dune just hop towards you. The red pokey in Dusty Dune will try to whack you, so just cut it down to size and make sure to get the head before it grows tall again. Then there's the giant pokey in Good Egg and also Dusty Dune Galaxy. It requires a coconut to be kicked at it in order to defeat it. It's just like the red pokey with the same attacks and you have to squash its head in time. Cluck Boom, who's only found in Dusty Dune Galaxy, lays bombs instead of eggs. It's not a challenging bird, as you can use star bits or a backflip to reach it. Oh. 
On the same planet, you'll also find Tweesters, tornadoes with googly eyes. They can't hurt you as they launch you in the air, which makes them useful for collecting those darn purple coins. Although the ones spinning the boulders could potentially damage you if you're not careful. As we are heading to the end, we have the Thwomp who's in these galaxies, and the Toxbox and Beach Bull and Toy Time galaxy. Unlike in the 2D games, Thwomps can crush the ground whenever they want to. Some are giant, while others are a bit smaller, and you can even stand on them. The Toxboxes sport a newer design. They flip around in a path, and you'll want the hole under the box to cover you so they can traverse the level. Both aren't difficult. Well, maybe that one prankster comet star where the tox boxes move fast can be a bit difficult, but getting crushed by either of these guys means instant death. Another stone enemy obstacle is the Bomp, appearing in Buoy Base and Freeze Flame Galaxy. From time to time it moves in and out of the wall, and if you're in its way, it could knock you off. Freeze Flame Galaxy has Lil Burr and Lil Cinder, with Burr also being in Toy Time and Cinder being in Melty Molten. Lil Burr freezes you and Lil Cinder burns you, just spin punch once and then kick them into oblivion. The blue lava bubbles are found in Good Egg, Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor, and Melty Molten Galaxy. They hop towards you and will burn you. Star bits are the only way to extinguish them. Next is Micro Mecha Bowser, only encountered in Toy Time at Dreadnought Galaxy. These evil toys breathe a fire. You can of course stun them a little, but ground pounds are required for a full defeat. They can even hop on the short steps. Sentry beams are immune to any attack, they just sit there and will shoot a laser at you. You can even stand on top of them to stop them from shooting, and they appear in Bowser Jr's Armada, Toy Time, and Battle Rock Galaxy. Astro Goombas, located in these galaxies, are Goombas with a protective helmet on, and also have glowing eyes. Knock it over with a spin punch and jump on its feet for a coin. The Undergrunt wears a spiked helmet. They burrow themselves into the ground and move. 
Just ground pound next to the moving mound and he'll pop out all dizzy so they can deliver him the final blow. You meet the McGusty Garden in Gold Leaf Galaxy. While in Deep Dark Galaxy, you'll also spot these underwater mines. When you get close to them, they wake up and they'll explode if you get too close. You can take them out with Star Bits or a Koopa Shell, but once they explode, they turn small and will later regenerate again. Now our final enemy in the game is Peta Peta, or also known as Starbag. Similar to a coin coffer or money bags, Starbag is also invisible like them. You can see it make footprints in the ground, hit it once and hit it again for those tasty star bits. These little guys run around in Good Egg, Gusty Garden, Gateway, and Deep Dark Galaxy. Alrighty then, so that is every single enemy found in Super Mario Galaxy 1. I love Super Mario Galaxy, and as a kid, I remembered all the enemies by heart. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Don't worry, I'm cooking up something good for the next two reviews.